In this video, I'm going to take you through the process of creating a new file within OneDrive. Now, when it comes to OneDrive, there are lots of different versions. There is OneDrive for personal use and OneDrive for business. We are focusing on using OneDrive personal here. I'm using a completely free Outlook email account, which comes with OneDrive attached to it. You get a five gigabyte allowance, but the process is generally the same if you are using OneDrive for business. When it comes to sharing, there's a couple of extra things that you can do as a business user, but we're gonna focus just on using it as an individual here and creating a new file. So I've already logged into my OneDrive account and I'm going to click on add new at the top left here. Now you'll see within here, you get lots of different options. You can upload files, you can upload folders, or you can create different types of content. So let's first of all, look at creating a Word document. So the type of file we're going to create is going to be a Word document. So if I just go down to Word document, it's going to open Microsoft Word online in another tab here. And the great thing is I'm not paying for this account. So it's completely free of charge and I can make use of most of the features within Microsoft Word that I might need to use. So let's go ahead and let's create some content here. Now you'll see on the right hand side, this designer has actually given me some templates that I can work with. So if I like the look of this one, for example, I can simply click on it and you'll see it's going to add that content to this document, which is perfect. So let's say, for example, I want to go with this and I want to save my document. What do I do? Well, I can actually just click on the cross here for the tab and it will save and create my document. And where has it saved it? Well, you'll see here we are looking at the My Files area of our OneDrive account. And in particular, we have this My Files area here. Now you have lots of different folders within your account, but when you don't select a location to create your file within, it will automatically save it to the My Files area here, and it will call it document.docx if it's a Word document. So first of all, how do we change the name of this file? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the three dots here, and then we're going to go to Rename. From here, we can then give it a different name. So I might call this one something like Andy, I don't know, CV, if it's my CV. Click rename, and you'll see it has updated the name of the file just here. A couple of indications to let you know whether or not it's a new file. You'll see that updates have been made to this file, so we get these three lines here. And you can also see the date that it was last modified. So it tells me it was less than one minute ago. So that's how we create a new file at the My Files level. Let's say, for example, what you want to do is you want to create a file within a specific folder. Well, how do you do that? Um, let's go to Documents, for example, here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Add New button. And this time, instead of creating a Word document, let's just create a PowerPoint presentation. So we'll click on PowerPoint presentation. And then here you'll see it's created a new PowerPoint for us. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Design. And just to save a little bit of time, let's just grab one of these here so we can take anything that doesn't have the little premium icon. So let's choose this one, for example, and we have a presentation here. Now, if we want to update the name of the file, you can actually click where it says presentation at the top here, and then you can give it a different name. Otherwise, it is just going to save it as presentation. And this works the same with the document we just looked at. You can also use this method for Word documents or Excel files. So I'm just gonna call this one, I don't know, Business Promo 2024. Now, all we need to do to save this file is simply click on the cross, and then you will see it has now created this PowerPoint presentation within the Documents folder. So initially, we were at the My Files level, and we used the Add New and Chose Word document. However, this time round, we went into the folder where we want that file to be saved, and then we created our new PowerPoint presentation using the add new option and PowerPoint. So essentially when you're creating a new file, what you want to make sure you do is go into the folder where you want that file to be created and then use the add new option to create that file. Hopefully you have found this video to be useful. If you have, make sure you hit that like button. Feel free to drop any comments that you might have or questions in the comments area below. If you're new to the channel and you haven't already done so, please do consider hitting that subscribe button to support the channel. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to find out some more about using OneDrive, why not check out these videos here?